Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about frugal wins and fails. Let's get right into it. I enjoy doing these videos about once a month or once every other month, looking at areas that I've done well with my budget and areas that I failed. And you gotta stick around to hear my biggest fail ever and something I know better and I think many of you will get a laugh. Let me start with the good though. I always like to do that. Number one, I'm doing great with the grocery budget. Remember in 2022, I said our grocery budget was 450 and everyone said, oh, the prices are going up. It's inflation. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to give a challenge because I have a little rebellious streak in me. So I lowered our budget just by $25 a month to 425. I came under $400 for January for our budget and so far in February I'm doing good and it's because I've been doing more scratch cooking and I've just been using many of the ingredients I have at home and also putting items back at the store which brings me to number two mindful shopping I buy what I really really want but I'm just putting a little more thought so I'm making good purchase decisions and then this gives me extra leftover money at the end of the month that I can use as I wish and last month I was able to bless a friend which I'm very happy about that so I'm going to continue with the mindful shopping number three I'm actually now finally doing something about healthy eating I'm incorporating more veggies you can see spinach I've been making vegetable sandwiches that have been really good with the hummus and then I also can put this in protein shakes and another thing that I have been doing as well is using this spinach as garnish. This is just an example. So buying more vegetables and, as, and you may say, well, how is that frugal? It's frugal because it's better than, this is a lot, this is less expensive and healthier than buying delicious cookies and things like that. So that I would say that for me is a frugal win. Also, another thing that I've been doing is reading more and more books on my Libby app. I don't purchase, last year I read over 160 books. Two of my favorite books I recently read was The Good Sister and also Wife Stalker, both great books. I think if you guys have a Libby app or an app on your phone, and there's nothing wrong with purchasing a book, but if you don't know if you're gonna love a book, you know, why go purchase it? If I absolutely love a book and I think I may wanna have it as a keepsake, such as Atomic Habits, Tightwad Gazette series, something like that, or a cookbook, that I really like after borrowing it and it's something I want to keep, then I will purchase it. But I don't have a lot of bookshelf space. So do, using this Libby app is great and I'm always going to mention it and I love to tell you my favorite, favorite books. Another big frugal thing that I've been doing in, is a couple friends and I have been sharing food, clothes, books, all sorts of things. Sometimes they'll treat me, sometimes I'll treat them. It all works out and we help each other and it saves us all a lot of money. So for example, if a friend says, you know, I gotta go to the store and pick up some eggs and this for breakfast tomorrow. Hey Dawn, do you have a few eggs or do you have a stick of butter? Sure, and, or I may say, hey, I forgot to pick this up at the store. Do you have this? Oh yeah, I have plenty of that. And so it really can save money when you work with your friends. So as you can see, there's a lot of things that I'm feeling really, really good about with our budget, but I now need to get over on some of the areas I made a mistake. This is a mistake I should have known better, but I made it. Let me start with saying this. Hershey's chocolate, for example, I used to be able to get one of these bags for $2.50 to $2.99. Unfortunately, now they're about, depending where you buy them, $4.50 to $4.99 a bag. A little bit more than what I can, than I shouldn't say that I can afford, than I want to spend, right? So I thought, you know what? This That chocolate's good, but the Dollar Tree chocolate should be just fine. I should know better. I haven't bought it in years, so I decided for a little smaller bag, I'll spend $1.25 for some chocolate hearts. Let me say they're still in the candy dish. They don't have that much flavor. It would have been better for me to spend the $5 once, you know, just once for the month and enjoy something rather than buying something that our family is not really getting value from and doesn't enjoy. So, Dollar Tree chocolate is not my friend. Tell me if any of you can agree with that. I also love the Dove chocolate. So from now on, if we want chocolate every now and then as a treat, we're gonna spend a little bit more. So that would be a fail. Also, another thing is I purchased an orange and I ended up not eating it and had to throw it away. So wasted food is always a fail. And then number three, 
I burnt a pizza. I got it on clearance for $2.50, made it for my husband for Super Bowl, and ended up burning it. Normally, I don't do that. So we really didn't get to eat much of the pizza, just a little bit of the topping. And, oh, yes. And last but not least, I have Netflix. I absolutely love Netflix. But when I get a movie, usually I watch it and mail it back. Lately, I've been holding on to these and not getting around to watching it. That is a fail because I'm not getting the most value. It's like having a service and not using the service, like having a gym membership and never going kind of thing. So I have frugal wins and frugal fails. We can always improve on our fails and keep on with our wins. I want to know areas in your budget. Where are you doing really well? And what are some areas you'd like to tweak and do better? You guys know I love to hear from you. That's all I have to say for now. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.